new or used? That is the construction equipment question. Whether you're firing up a new construction company, need to expand operations, or your older equipment is ready to be put out to pasture, the question remains, do you buy new construction equipment or look into used construction equipment for sale? That's the question we're aiming to help you answer for your construction operation. Just as a quick reminder, there's no need to take any notes. This episode is taken from a guide we have on our news blog that you can find linked in the description of this episode, along with a TLDR cheat sheet infographic you can access to help you make your next move. Without further delay, let's hop into some factors to consider to help you arrive at your conclusion. Which is more cost-effective, new or used construction equipment? The first consideration for many folks is, unsurprisingly, the cost. Brand new construction equipment comes with a heftier price tag. No surprise there. But more than quality construction equipment, you're buying peace of mind. Knowing that your equipment should run smoothly and with minimal hiccups. Also, with new construction equipment, you're getting the latest technology and often a manufacturer's warranty and possibly some lucrative financing options. On the flip side, used construction equipment offers lower upfront costs. Used equipment can provide a more budget-friendly option, particularly good news for small to mid-sized companies or for folks only needing construction equipment for infrequent jobs. Buying either new or used construction equipment can also have tax advantages, such as deducting the cost of machinery as a business expense, which is a Section 179 tax deduction. And because the depreciation of equipment can usually also be deducted from your company's taxes, accounting for a new model's depreciation is a bit more straightforward. What about equipment performance and reliability? New construction equipment boasts the latest advancements in performance fuel efficiency, and emissions. If having cutting-edge tech is important for your operations, a new model might be the way to go. When buying new construction equipment, keep in mind that you may be up against the odd potential bug, recall, or other defects that haven't been worked out, even though these are usually remedied on a manufacturer's or dealership's dime They may lead to performance setbacks that interfere with your project schedule. While not a deal breaker, they're just something to consider. If the latest bells and whistles aren't as important to you, used construction equipment has the advantage of proven reliability. With the proper maintenance, battle-tested machines have definitely had their bugs worked out, most recalls accounted for, possible upgrades made, and may serve you just as well. All that being said, it's definitely worth the money to have any used construction equipment you're considering buying inspected by an experienced equipment mechanic. This inspection will likely cost a few hundred dollars, but is a small price to pay if it saves you from buying a potential money pit. This inspection may also reveal problem areas you can use to negotiate the price or simply help you feel better about your purchase. Should I consider long-term value? Well. Because you likely won't be completely working the tracks off of any construction equipment you buy, it pays to consider how much value you'll get from the machine, both during its working life and when you need to replace it. Whether new or used, buying models of construction equipment with a reputation for reliability can help preserve the equipment's value over time. New equipment can have better resale value depending on the brand and model. New gear also has the added benefit of knowing the equipment's complete history, something you should continue to document over its time with your team to increase its resale value. Used construction equipment after its initial depreciation dip actually holds its value well. If cared for, you may even be able to sell it for close to what you paid, especially if it's a popular model. Is the availability of construction equipment a concern? If you're leaning toward a new machine, getting precisely what you need, when you need it, may be an issue if you're on a tight timeline depending on the dealership. New models might not be immediately available due to manufacturing lead times. However, with used equipment, what you see is what you get. You can often purchase used equipment and put it to work immediately if no maintenance is necessary. What should I know before I begin shopping for construction equipment? When it comes to choosing between new and used construction equipment for sale, it's all about assessing your needs. Understand what features and capabilities you need versus which are niceties. Keep your operators in mind first and foremost. Know your budget, including all fees, taxes, interests, 
and the true cost of ownership of heavy equipment. Have your walk-away price ready and don't exceed it. Have the date and time when you need this equipment to get started working for you. This will help you calculate how long the sales process will take, including any necessary maintenance, shipping, and the like. Just be square with me. Is it a better idea to buy new or used construction equipment? Honestly, neither option is inherently better. It's all about what works best for your unique situation. But to maximize the value you get from your equipment and have a pleasant shopping experience, it's important to know what you need, when you need it, and how much you can afford. You can enjoy new and used construction equipment for sale now at your fingertips. When you're ready to make a buying decision, whether for new or well-loved machinery, you can get the buying process started today with help from your friends at My Little Salesman. Since 1958, My Little Salesman has been connecting buyers and sellers of construction equipment and more. Get started finding your next item of construction equipment today using the link in the description. So, did you learn anything from this episode? If so, feel free to like this episode and subscribe to Buying Bigger Better Academy to see other episodes like this one. I've been Ken from MyLittleSalesman.com, and we'll see you next time.